In the process of becoming a minimalist, I started using my money more wisely. So today, I'm gonna introduce 8 money-saving tricks that I use. The first thing I'm conscious of when saving money is to reduce fixed expenses. Because you can save a lot of money in a year if you pay a small amount of rent fee, phone bills, and other monthly expenses. This is my monthly fixed cost. Rent fee, utility costs, internet, national health insurance, national pension, car tax, car insurance, phone bill, Google Play, Netflix, Audible, Adobe, Epidemic Sound, groceries, and total. The average cost of living alone is said to be around $1,000 a month in Japan. So, in this situation, I think it's quite reasonable. Let's see how I was able to make it cheaper. First, consider other renting options. I think it's the most expensive fixed expense for many people. I also understand that every situation is different, depending where you are located. If the rent is typically high where you currently reside, if possible for your lifestyle and commute, try living in the countryside in order to find lower rental options, like me. For me, I would recommend a share house if you are single, because you can share your cost of things with your share mates. I've been living in a share house since I was in university, except when I was an elementary school teacher. Most of the share houses in Japan are operated by companies. The good thing is that basically all utilities and internet are included. So you can not only save on rent, but you'll be able to save on other expenses. Actually, I only pay about $168 for rent, utilities, and internet each month. Second, be conscious when using utilities. Like I said earlier, my rent includes utilities, so luckily I was able to save money that way. However, I try not to use them as much as possible. For example, there are some things I try to do to save energy even when not typically charged for utilities. For example, try not to use a lot of electricity during the day. Turn off the unused lights day and night. Don't use a hair dryer. Don't use a vacuum cleaner. Use a hot water bottle instead of a heater when going to bed. I just put it in my sleeping bag like this. For your information, Japanese houses are usually really cold in winter because they don't have any central heating system like in Europe. Look how cold it is in the morning! Anyway, that's what I've recently done as a habit. What are some things you do to save energy in your houses? Third, research cell phone plans. If I currently held a contract with one of Japanese three major carriers, it would cost about $54 a month on average. I used to use it. However, when I heard about the NVNO SIM card, I immediately switched to it. Now I only spend around $877 a month on my cell phone bill. It's quite cheap, isn't it? Over the course of a year, I'll have saved nearly $700. It's really so great! Fourth, use fewer subscription services. I actually used to have a lot of subscription services in the past, such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Adobe, ExpressVPN, and so on. They are affordable for a month, but I thought it would add up a lot if I had to keep paying for them for the rest of my life. Now, I only use Netflix, Audible, and Adobe. Even though Audible is quite expensive, I still think it's worth using because it saves a lot of your time. Fifth, be creative with your workouts. When I lived in Tokyo, I used to go to the gym. I paid $40 a month. It was worth it at the beginning because I was able to use all the equipment. However, I became busy during that time, so it's not like I could go there every day like before. Plus, there is a lot of great workout content on YouTube that you can check out. So I decided to quit the gym and start creating my own workout routine. Now I live in the countryside, so it's not easy to access a gym anyway. So if you can create your own workout routine, you can stay home and save money. From now on, I'm gonna talk about ways to save money besides fixed costs. 
Sixth, use fewer consumable goods. Similar to fixed cost, consumables also become a burden on the household budget. So, I try not to use many consumable items. For example, I don't use shampoo. Hair felt a little oily at first when I stopped using shampoo, but other than that, it was perfectly fine. Another example is that I try not to use dish soap when washing my plates. So I use an item called a biwako fukin, which is a cloth made in Japan with the exact purpose of not using dish soap. Of course, if it's oily, I sometimes use dish soap, but I try not to use it a lot. Finally, as you all know, I don't use laundry detergent. It depends on the person, but I calculated that I spend about 10,000 yen, about $80 a year, on laundry detergent. It's affordable, but I want to be able to save that money. When I gave up using laundry detergent, I wanted to figure out a different way to wash my clothes. Then I found out about the magnesium washing method. It's really easy. All you have to do is get magnesium and put them into small laundry bags. Then when you're ready to wash, put the magnesium-filled bags into the load of laundry and wash it together. When you put magnesium into water, it makes water alkaline and removes start. Moreover, magnesium can be used semi-permanently if you take good care of it. It helps you save money, reduce the process of putting detergent, and it's eco-friendly too. Seventh, reduce food expenses. I'm not good at it actually, but I've been trying these methods to save some money. For example, cooking at home as much as I can, make bigger portions to save for later. Try to make dry food and fermented food from scratch. Try not to buy things at convenience stores. Always bring my own drinks. Especially about the last one, I try not to buy from vending machines. There are so many vending machines in Japan, so it's really tempting. But I try not to buy it as much as possible. Lastly, as a minimalist, I want to give a tip uh, when it comes to not buying many things. Eighth, try not to buy many things. Buying things is essential for humans to live in this society, but if you want to save money, you need to control yourself. These are the tips that I use not to buy many things as a minimalist. First, decide the main color you wear. There are many minimalists that have the same type of clothes and same color. They can save money because they don't buy a lot of clothes. However, I don't like this style because it's kind of boring. For me, I have a variety of clothes, but not too random. I decided on the color for each category of clothing in my wardrobe. For example, I always have blue or black pants, a red jacket, a black socks, and red underwear. Once you decide, try to follow this rule so you don't buy other colors or clothes, which prevents you from buying a lot of random clothes. Second, only buy things that spark joy. This means that you should only buy what you're passionate and excited about. Try not to buy things because they are on sale, limited editions, or new products. Third, one in, one out rule. This is a simple method of throwing away one item after buying it. If you have this rule, you are able to avoid impulse purchases because you have to throw away a lot of what you have if you buy on impulse. Fourth, try to repair things. As a minimalist, I try to repair things even if they break, so you don't need to buy new things constantly. For example, this year, I repair not only cups, but also a paper lamp and shoes. And then, I saved some money by doing that. So today I talked about 8 money saving tricks I use. What are some tips that you have for saving money? I hope you could enjoy this video and hopefully you will incorporate some of these tips into your life. Okay, so stay safe, have fun and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!